Hi folks, I'm Sean Hana and Android.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, I know a lot of you are having trouble rooting your Galaxy S6 or the S6 Edge on Android 5.1.1. Let me first go ahead and explain what's really changed. Uh, starting with 5.1.1, Google has changed Android. Um, so if you install SuperSU, uh, it's just not going to root it. You'll actually have to have a modified kernel. Otherwise, what happens is if you try to use the standard root method of installing twerp and then uh, installing SuperSU, uh, basically your phone will end up in a boot loop. And I actually first noticed when I was trying to root my LG G4, uh, it is the same case for all the Android 5.1.1. So a simple workaround is to install a modified kernel that allows you to uh, install root. Now it's actually rather simple on the S6 or the S6 Edge. Uh, there is now a bunch of kernels you can install. Um, that actually auto roots your phone. If you're using older Android 5.0.2, 5.0.1, you can go ahead and use the older root method, uh, the standard root method. For those of you with Android 5.1.1 on the S6 or S6 Edge, uh, we can go ahead and install a custom auto root kernel. So let's go ahead and do this, baby. Okay, guys, um, first of all, this root method will not work if you have AT&T or Verizon. Uh, because they have locked bootloaders. The reason is that they simply just don't like their customers. Um, so if you want to root, I highly recommend you switch carriers. Anyway, with that covered, this root method should work on all the different uh, Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge out there. And I'll show you all the steps. All right, first go ahead and go to About Phone and make sure you have Android version 5.1.1. If you don't have Android 5.1.1, um, if you have an older 5.0.1 or 5.0.2, I use my other method, older method, root method on the site. All right, if you have 5.1.1, you're good to go. And you can use uh, the S6 Edge or the S6, but I already rooted my S6 Edge, so I'm gonna show you with my S6. That's all you really need to know. And also note your model number. I have an SMG920T, which is a T-Mobile model. So make a note of that, we'll need it. Uh, we'll need it and go to about device if you don't see developer options go to about device go ahead and go down to build number and go ahead and hit this like five times until it says you're a developer or developer mode is on and it says mine is on and then hit the back button you'll be able to see developer options go into developer options this is very important make sure you set oem unlocking on all right turn on if you don't do this you won't be able to flash kernels all right that's pretty much it. You don't have to mess with USB debugging. I don't know why sometimes I do these uh, root tutorials and then people are like, I forgot to turn on USB debugging, but I never told you to. Uh, Samsung devices, you don't even have to mess with it. Just don't mess with it. This is the most important thing. Okay, um, that covered away. Go ahead and power off. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and hold down volume down, center home, and the power in that order. So I'm gonna hold down volume down, center home, and then the power button. All right, and let go of all the buttons when you see the warning sign. Go ahead and hit the volume up here. All right, and go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. Now you will need a Windows computer to root your phone. Um, there's no other way. Uh, if you're using Mac, you can also use uh, VMware or anything that allows you to run Windows on top of it. Uh, there is an open source call uh, tool called uh, Joden, but I don't actually recommend it that much because you may need um, some extra files and just better to use just straight up Odin if you can. All right, and then let's go to our computer. All right, next, go ahead and go to my site, uh, galaxy s 6 roothigh on android.com and go ahead and click on root kernels, Android 5.1.1. And this has all of the root kernels you can use for the Galaxy S6 or the S6 Edge. Um, for SMG920F, the international SMG920i, also Korean, all the Korean models, G G920S, KL, and also T-Mobile and Canadian, you can go ahead and use Unibase kernel. I'll update this page as uh, more kernels are become available for anything that's not listed here. For Sprint, you'd need to use another kernel. Try the Uni kernel for Sprint and US Cellular. Go ahead and try Unikernel. Same thing with S6 Edge. Go ahead and find the right kernel. Unibase kernel actually works for most S6 and S6 Edge, but uh, if you have Sprint, you have to use another kernel because 
these don't support it. So download V kernel for Sprint Galaxy S6 Edge. All right, go ahead and download it through the link. Uh, and once you have downloaded that, also go ahead and download uh, Odin 3. All right, if you download the Odin 3, you'll be able to unzip the files. Go ahead and unzip the files and you get a folder with Odin 3. And I've also downloaded uh, the kernel. For me, I got the uh, Unibase kernel, so I got it right there. So th the two files you need, uh, Odin and your kernel. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Odin 3 v3.10.6. Don't use an older Odin because they're not compatible with the newer Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. Uh, you may have trouble. And go, go ahead and choose, uh, here is very important, make sure you have a blue highlighted box. That means you have drivers installed. If you don't have drivers installed, you've never rooted your phone, you've never installed this uh, Samsung USB drivers. Uh, I'll have the links on my site. Go ahead and download that, install it, double click on the file, uh, unplug your phone and plug it back in and you should be able to see blue highlighted sign. If you don't see it even then, try on another computer. Um, next, go ahead and hit AP and I'm gonna go ahead and find the Unibase blah blah dot tar, that's the file. If you're using another variant like the Sprint, you may have downloaded the V kernel, then go ahead and choose that instead of that. Hit open and we're gonna hit start and this should take, what, five seconds or whatever. All right, give it like five seconds. Reset, pass, if you see pass, you're good to go. Uh, it may say on top, Kernel is not SE Android enforcing. Don't worry about it. It's just a warning. It doesn't actually affect anything. So you should be good to go. And this will boot your phone uh, into the normal uh, thing there. Now, if you want to install Twerp Recovery, go ahead and use a Flashify app because you have root. You don't have to use Odin again. You can do all of it on your phone. I'll have instructions on how to use a Flashify uh, on my site. All right, let me go ahead and change the camera angle so you can see better. All right, guys, once rebooted, you should have full roots. To verify you have full root, um, go ahead and go to your app drawer. You should be able to see Super SU app. Go ahead and open it. Uh, say no thanks. If it tries to update, um, just say yes and hit normal and that will update you. Uh, otherwise, you should have full root. You can go ahead and verify you have full root now. You can go ahead and download Titanium Backup app. For those of you who don't know what that is, uh, it's also a great app that will also allow you to back up your apps and app data. I highly recommend get the pro version also, uh, which I have. I've been, I had this for like last five years. This is the ultimate uh, way. If you want to move your apps later to another phone, you can go ahead and make a backup. And if you see this, uh, if you see a super user request window, uh, boom shakalaka, you have a full root. And thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me if this video has helped you root your S6 or S6 Edge. And I should have more updates on these phones. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play with some custom ROMs. Also, CM12 is coming to the S6 pretty soon and probably S6 Edge also. They're working on it. Uh, it's gonna take another month or two before we have stable releases, but it's definitely gonna be here. I'm really excited. Hey, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+, Instagram. Don't forget to enter our big Android contest if you haven't yet. Um, just so long as you enter, you have a chance to win. Anyway, wish you guys luck if you entered. And as always, I'll stay.